Welcome back. In today's segment of Woodworking with Wes, we have some housekeeping to do. I need a cart to go at the end of my bench that allows me to wheel things around but also gives me some extension to my bench when I'm working on long projects. So I figured out what I needed to have. I need it to be 32 and a half inches high, which is the height of my bench. I need it to be 30 inches wide and 49 inches long. 49 inches wide is how my bench is. So it's going to add me 30 inches to my bench. And I drew out a picture of what I needed for the legs and I built one just to make sure. This is going to be the construction of my legs. We have a 5 inch wheel that's going to go on the bottom of it. And I want to have a shelf down low and then my top is going to be up here. And we'll just go through and we'll make all of the pieces and assemble it and then we'll put our wheels on and we'll have a cart. But this is something that I've needed in the shop for a long time and it's probably something if you have a shop of your own something you need also. So this is how I built my bit, my cart. First thing we're going to do is cut out all our pieces for our legs. We have one long piece, 26 and 3 quarters, and we have this short piece here that allows for our shelf, and we have two 4 inch pieces, and so we have four pieces total to make each leg. And so we're going to cut out all of the pieces on my table saw sled for the other three legs that we have to make, and then we're going to make three more legs just exactly like this. We have all our pieces cut for our legs now. We want our legs to look exactly like that. Here's the long piece, piece here, a couple pieces there. That's going to make each leg. So now we're just going to go ahead and nail, we'll put a little glue in between each one, but we'll go ahead and nail all of our legs together and then we have our four legs. So we'll do that first. Okay, we have our legs put together now. They're going to fit in this configuration right here, just like this. But we're going to put a skirt around, and then we're going to put a shelf in here. So our skirt's going to look like that. It's going to go all the way around. And then we're going to put a shelf that will go out to the end of our skirt. So the first thing we need to do, and we've determined the sizes that we need to cut in order to make our skirt, we're going to go over to our uh, table saw sled cut our skirt pieces. We're going to put one half of it together, slide our shelf in, and then attach the other half. And then our shelf will be locked in. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, we've cut our skirt pieces on our table saw sled. Now we'll uh, assemble our skirt uh, skirt pieces and like I said we're going to assemble one half slide the shelf in and then assemble the other half so that it'll be locked in that's what we'll do now okay we have completed our assembly of half of the cart and we have cut our shelf to fit we've notched to fit into the corners here and we've rounded the edge to make it a little easier to work with and and a little more comfortable but what we're going to do now is to slide this shelf in and then put the other two legs and the skirt along that side to complete the bottom side of our cart and that will lock in our shelf. So that's where we're going to go now. So that's the first thing we'll do. We'll slide our shelf in and if everything went according to the way it was supposed to, the shelf should slide right into place like that how about that just like it's supposed to and it fits okay we have success 
Now we'll mount the other two legs and put the skirt on. And that leg will go in here just like that. Oh, come on here. There we go. Goes in there just like that. And then the skirt will go on. And so we'll assemble to that point and then we'll put a top skirt and the top and then put the feet on it, the wheels. So that's what we'll do next. Okay, there is the bottom part of our cart. We're going to run a three inch skirt around the top side and then put our top on. Okay, we had the bottom part of our cart built and we needed to put a skirt around the top. I decided to go a two and a half inch skirt um, just because um, my wood worked out better. But anyway, I had some pieces that were the right size. I have put a skirt all the way around, just the same size as the skirt that I did on the bottom. I screwed it on and I put a center brace in it to hold that. I'm going to set the top on and we're just going to screw the top down on it and put a quarter inch uh, round over on it so that it has a nice smooth edge. And then we're going to put wheels on it and really that is all there is to it. This is a very heavy duty cart. We'll be able to uh, wheel us over next to the table saw when I'm doing a kitchen cutout and I can stack hundreds of pounds of of cutout on this is a heavy heavy duty cart uh, got good heavy duty casters on it and stuff I'll be able to uh, stack up almost an entire kitchen on this if I want to um, several hundred pounds of, of wood will not make a bit of difference in this cart so this is really a good workhorse that I needed on next to my bench so let's go ahead and complete by putting the top and the wheels on. You'll notice that I put two swivel and two stationary wheels on so that I can wheel my cart and steer it as I go. I also notice that I have a nail come through. I gotta take that out. Shame on me. extension to my table. Thanks you everybody for watching us build a little uh, housekeeping project. I needed this cart. Now you know how I would do it. Like I say, nice heavy duty cart, easy to roll around, easy to make a, uh, an extension to my bench when I have big projects that I'm working on. But this is a great idea for if you have a small shop to be able to have an extra place to work or if you have a big shop to be able to move things from one side to the other. Always a handy project to have in the shop and a handy thing to do and to know how to do. So thanks again for watching Woodworking with Wes, but don't forget to subscribe and on this one we're going to include our measurements at the end so that you can see how to build one for you. Thank you again.